morning children here i come once again to you in the form of small video and uh, please take your book and pencil in hand the other day we were discussing about the chinese civilizations and under the chinese civilization we have discussed their occupation uh, art and craft in that art and craft we have uh, seen various things like the porcelain the jade work architecture building work how they built what kind of building they were having building sculpture what were the sculpture in that terracotta is important what is this sculpture terracotta what is this terracotta small army small uh, statues were made uh, of armies and then buried along the along the the, the king who died next one is the bronze casting bronze casting uh, in the various forms of model modeling then script chinese script is a typical script till today so these were the the art and crafts we have we are having also next point that is achievements what did uh, chinese civilization gave to their country as well as to the world what was the achievements achievements here meaning anything new which has made it has made and then improved upon for the country for the betterment of the people development of the people and also to the world what has it given so one is the perpetual calendar they made okay calendar perpetual calendar that means continuity the per, uh, can, can calendar which never ends it goes on and on and on till today we have some sort of the same during the shang dynasty the length of, of the shadow was measured through the uh, the instrument gnomon you can say gnomon i don't know whether you have to say gnomon or no gnomon uh, and the length of of each day with a uh, clips clipsidra clipsidra water clock so there was a uh, the sundial light and then water clock so these were the uh, new achievement in chinese civilization found see that nomen the uh, dial how the shadow is measured here and uh, with a triangular uh, sundial so you might have seen sundial if you have uh, gone some of the museums you will find all these things not now it's not commonly used this i have become uh, the uh, the the fact of for the fact of ancient things now now then uh, next one is the the uh, by observation and by measuring the longest and shortest days in the year the two solstices and two equinoxes what is this solstices solstices means uh, the two planet uh, the, the planets that comes closer to the earth or further the than the earth So there is a summer solstice and the winter solstice. Okay, we have uh, two solstices. Summer solstice means uh, the the uh, the earth coming very close to the sun, and for and further the day or when the the earth goes far away from that. Okay, so we have got. two solstices summer solstices and winter solstices we have got the two equinoxes what is this equinox equinox is the 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 uh, the hours the time duration of uh, day and night being equal at a particular day we have i uh, have two equinoxes okay uh, that is days and nights equal number uh, um, uh, what a duration of days and nights the result was that there were 365 and uh, some fraction of days within a year that if you divide then we have here we have to include also the 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 uh, what call 
lapse the la the year that lapse by one more one day that means this comes a leap year a lapse or leap year jumps lapse next one is the the kite was developed this is another invention kite was developed almost 3000 years ago by chinese this kite were of wooden kites they were made of not paper but wooden and it was used by the military to send the information or the messages <clears throat> the world's first mechanical clock was operated by dripping of water we have seen the pendulum that helps the the hands of the clock move around but here the water is dripping of the 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 water drip of the water is used to move the hands of the <clears throat> of the clock uh, so that wheel the powered a uh, wheel that powered the wheel and that made one revolution in 24 hours chinese invented the umbrella more than 3000 years ago so this uh, the invention of a umbrella done by chinese initially they were made of silk and uh, and uh, and had works on them that means there was embroidery work word of art painting and embroidered silk cloth were fixed on the umbrella okay later in the, in the first century bc paper umbrella were made <clears throat> even though the umbrellas were made of silk and paper they provided protection against the rain okay because they were coated with oil coated with oil there was a coating oil laminated today we have our books are laminated by a thin layer of plastic so that it will even the waterfalls it will not get spoiled easily so also the clothes were laminated by oil or the coated with oil layer is spread on that that is called coating next one <clears throat> comparisons of the four ancient river uh, river valley civilizations so mesopotamian civilizations egyptian civilizations in the civilizations in the valley civilizations and chinese civilization all these civilizations or four civilizations there is summary is given in this page page number 46 please read and go what is that geological location where they are located i have told you to learn the river valley name of the river valley civilizations and also the river at which river and what the rivers where are they located which country society what kind of society the mesopotamian civilization had the uh, egyptian civilization had indus valley civilization had and chinese civilization had political condition what was the condition what was the political life of the people of that time of the whole four civilizations religious belief what do they believe do they have god and goddesses do they believe in uh, in the recycle of birth or punarjanma or uh, life after death so you go through please <clears throat> art and architecture what type of uh, art they had what type of building work they had uh, the way they were building how do they build their houses contributions what do did they contribute to the world what the new things have been contributed by these civilizations over the times to the world this is what you have to find out in this okay so this are uh, this uh, summary is this this uh, page is very very important it summarizes the whole four civilizations we have seen earlier beginning with the mesopotamian civilizations okay and with that one more thing i want to uh, give uh, stress is that let's recall is another summary of this particular lesson this uh, page number 46 gives the whole lesson of the four civilizations summary of the whole lesson of the civilizations four civilizations but this page Uh, page number forty-seven. Where let's recall under this heading, we have got the number of points. It summarizes the the lesson. It's also important.
okay next one is the um, uh, the let's learn exercises i am little faster but uh, this is for you to go slowly learn and uh, learn well i am telling you it's uh, you have to do completely fill in the blanks first is the dash was the first dynasty in the, the first line first second line you will get the answer here what is that jia dynasty number 2 the dash was the top of the social order who oh, surely the king no what is the other name of king emperor next one the two major religions on philosophies were what were there what were the two major for philosophies so and that became later on religion the way of living for the people they are taoism taoism and confucianism who were the founder of taoism please find out who is the founder of confucianism please find out i am not going to tell you the first mention uh, mentioned of tea dates back to when is a 10046 bc very bad very no, bc next one the chinese used dash model what kind of model they used what model they had clay model next one number b name the following the priest who used to look into the future what was that the priest who used to look into the brain name it shall i tell you <laughs> uh, no i will not tell you uh, two uh, tools used for agriculture two tools especially two tools were used the highest form of visual writing in china visual art it is there in the line exactly it is written therefore i am not telling you i want you to go through the poem of rearing the poem of rearing silk worm and making silk you not find the word poem in your book and therefore let me please correct use your pencil correct this not poem process write instead of poem process process of rearing silk worm and making silk name it very easy the instrument used to measure the length of the shadow just now i said okay then the these are match the following is another very easy one and then once you have done this a b and c it will be very easy to do number d because they are up there exactly it's not uh, at all difficult so please do it and if you find it difficult i'll tell you okay bye